Hey Scrappers, Tom from the iScrap app, and we had one of our users ask us how they can find a good catalytic converter buyer in their area. So a few things that you want to really look out for is how the buyer presents themselves. If they only have a printout, if they don't really have a location, if you get the sniff test, if it doesn't smell right when you talk to them for the first time, that's probably a great indication that they're not going to be a great cat buyer. Now you can look over to your right and you're going to be able to see a big box of cats here. A lot of cat buyers will try to show you that they have these items, but maybe they've accumulated them or maybe they're empty catalytic converters. You want to ask them about their grading, how they do it ahead of time. This way when you go to sell your cat, you're going to be able to take the material that you have and try to compare it to other things that they have so the prices are comparable. If they start to add a lot of phrases into the catalytic converters, words that you've never heard before and that you're unfamiliar with, if you ask about them and they don't give you a clear answer, that's another part of the sniff test and you're going to want to say, yeah, something doesn't smell right. There's a lot of great online catalytic converter buyers that you can find. You can use the iScrap app to find an auto wrecker near you or a scrapyard near you that might specialize in catalytic converters. There's a lot of websites that will list prices, but sometimes when you send your items in, you're going to expect a higher price than you actually get. One thing we like to do is decide the price ahead of time with whoever's buying the cat from you. Ask them what pictures that they need, or when you're in front of them, go over the prices. This way you know what you're going to get, and you're not feeling cheated at all. This is Tom from iScrap App. If you have any questions, please just let us know. Until next time, I'll scrap you later.